But yeah, if you're like, if this is something, like if I am going to address this, like I can acknowledge it while still knowing that I'm not ready to think about all of the details right now. I can still know that it's something that I want to work past and it's something that I want to develop, but it's not something that I'm ready to bring back into like my realm of like being. Like, you sometimes just got to, like, block it out of your being if you can do that. But if you can't, sometimes you just got to deal with it in the moment. Not even deal with it in the moment, but, like, if you could find literally anything. My go-to is sleep. My go-to is sleep. Because, oh, I hate whenever people are, like, you, like, rotting is, like, ill. And it is ill. It is very ill, once again, if you don't have that mindset that, I am going to develop. I am going to get better because I feel like capitalism makes us all so afraid of just taking time because ever so literally sometimes whenever I'm like, I'm about to do something horrible, terrible, miserable, sinister for myself or for somebody else. You literally just got to shut that shit down. You just got to shut that shit down. And so many people will be like, oh, if you're not up and at them, like you're literally like you're failing sometimes you literally just gotta chill sometimes you just gotta chill if chilling is all you have in you in your state of being go with that fucking flow you better just chill and rot for a minute because sometimes <clears throat> having that minute to actually be in just like complete stillness knowing that all your only priority the only thing that you will hold yourself to doing right then is just being mentally still you will, it will come at its time because whenever you make decisions and like the, oh my God, mind on 10, like X, Y, Z, like literally a million, 10 different things going on and I can't focus for a single one of them. You're not going to do the work that you are capable of, especially if it's something that has a large reflection in your life beyond this moment. Like you gotta like literally just chill, either hit the hay or just do something that like mindless entertainment is a big go-to try to like stay away from substances because like making that dependency kind of having that like classical conditioning like whenever you need to shut your mind down going to substances that creates like a pretty maladaptive pattern but you should 110 percent if you need some time to rot take that time to rot if you need it take it and make sure this is the biggest thing i used to be so bad at this because i what wanted to be like I don't want to rot. I don't want to rot. I don't want to rot. And I still don't want to rot. That's not something that I want for myself at all. I never want to be at the point where I just need to shut down. But that being said, by telling myself that I didn't want to for so long, whenever I needed to, whenever my body, my mind, my spirit, my all of it, every square inch of my essence was begging me for it. And I was still trying to plow on. I was burning myself out so bad. I was burning myself out so bad. It's like, Say you're like a matchstick. Oh, I love an analogy. And I think this one's perfect, actually. Okay. <clears throat> listen, say you're a matchstick. I'm talking about some listen. <laughs> listen, say you're a matchstick and you're like fizzling out like you're on your last like millimeter type. So would you take your ass outside in the elements when you're there? Or whenever you have a second inside to just get your flame where it needs to be. Because sometimes you just got to be still. Sometimes you got to be still to get your flame where you need it to be to actually be able to face the elements. Sometimes you just got to chill. So my biggest thing, my biggest thing, I'm not worried about, like, I'm still young and turnt. Even if I was, like, old and turnt, like, I still deserve just, like, regroup time. But I'm at the age where my biggest goals are sustenance and exploration and making sure I can ensure my sustenance whenever I am not capable or whenever oh, ooh, 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 ooh. whenever I need to build my ability for exploration in certain yeah aspects so it's like basically just like accommodating myself consistently with like my biological mental all that needs I'm not really worried about like extravagance and like luxury and all that right now because it's like yeah once again young and turn like hence but it's like I my biggest thing wait what was my biggest thing in the first place um my biggest thing ever gotta rub it up 
my biggest thing ever in the whole entire universe ever in the existence of the world okay oh now why would i do that because i lost it because i knew i lost it but sometimes it really does work it's like sometimes the key fits sometimes it doesn't what the hell was i even about to say though what the fuck was i talking about in the first place oh yeah sometimes like i feel like my big goal right now was like making sure that if i do need to like fall back that i have a foundation for that so right now at the beginning of the year i was like oh i'm just gonna work so freaking hard i'm like well and i am working so freaking hard but within my capacities i meant like work like um work for like money but outside of that considering my whole life is exploration based and just finding out new fun shit that I can do to sustain myself and enjoy my life like that's already lit in turn so like school and like other things are already taken care of because that's just like exploration fest type vibe like that's just lit and a half but what was I even saying in the first place um but the fact that wait hey 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 what was I saying? Um, ready? Bah, uh, bah, uh. <laughs> Wait, no, I actually could have killed that. Ready? Fuck, no, I'm doing it wrong. Hey, ready? Okay, now you gotta start up here. Bah, bah, yeah! Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, I had to kill it real quick. But basically, my only goal is for, like, working for money right now. At first, I was like, oh, upward mobility, all this bullshit. But then I'm like, okay, I'm young and turn. I'm in school still. And then on top of that, it's like, if I do... Because, like, my school has, like, a little, like... I don't even want to talk about all the specifics because I don't want anybody really to know where I go to school. Um, but in the first place... What is it ever in the first place ever in the whole world fucking ever? Um <laughs> Long story short, my friends Okay, wait, no. Um oh yeah, just literally just working to the point that I have not even a fallback, but like I have like enough money to sustain myself because I used to be like, okay, I'm going to work to get double my rent every month because I know you're supposed to have three times xyz I told them I had three times because during the summer I was working fucking full time and then I was getting three times but now it's like a little two times um but then that's what I'm talking about like now I'm just like you know what also go for a cool one and a half because I if I have my rent grocery money gas money like money to buy <laughs> a crazy amount of fucking books every single time that I I swindle the damn kids every time into going to the library so that oh that's terrible to say online mm, whatever but yeah I swindle the damn kids every single time we go to that library every time we run up that library like nobody's business to go to the library so that I can go and buy like so many books because they have like a little bookstore and like they're really like affluent neighborhoods they have like bookstores in the back and they sell books for like as low as like five cents a piece crazy ass life but then at the one bookstore they do five dollars a bag which is really really nice um because it's like big ass books some of them and so they do like um yeah but okay so the one near me is five cents but the one near where I work is like 50 some so if you do the five that's where they have the five dollar bag I should have said that um but it's really nice because well it sucks because I have to tell the kids hold my hands because <laughs> nobody is getting held right now nobody's getting picked up right now because right now this book is me and this, is me in this bag against the world it's literally like oh my gosh and then oh my gosh it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy but I love I love and I found so many cool ones last time because last time I had the really bright idea I was like you know what I'm actually gonna go get um ones to like decorate with um this is my house at home by the way by the w but um <clears throat> my house at school should I say that online is that incriminating at all no 
that's like standard plus like they're literally this camera quality on my laptop is so shitty that you couldn't figure out where i lived if you wanted to let me not say that because somebody's about to take that as a challenge <laughs> no thanks <laughs> no thanks <laughs> oh i'm not hungry <laughs> but <clears throat> what was i saying in the first place um yeah but I've gotten so many books from there. My car was flooded. I'm talking flooded with them. And it's so bad because um, it's like a, like, um, it's like a type school where if any of the moms were on TikTok, they'd do like the, um, get dressed for me, with me for the kids pickup some bullshit because it's like the lululemon moms type vibe which like good for you like um very cute very lit but also like why is everybody white <laughs> is my question and then i pull up with my car literally floor covered in books and fucking paper towels and i'm like oh my god so you know what i've started doing well first of all i've started actually cleaning the floor of my car um to get rid of the copious amounts of literature that does not need to be getting trodden all over by those badass kids. They're not badass kids. I actually love them to death. Like, I feel like all the kids that I work with, I love them to death. And I have to remember, like, these are kids. Like, these are, like, growing individuals. So, like, I do get frustrated, but I'm not the type of person to, like, lash out on the kids. If I need a second, that's literally the best example of, like, the, like, take a second and chill. If I need a second, I just have to take a second and just chill. Like, I literally just have to chill. Because I'm like, oh, you guys could literally make me flip my lid in 0.5 of a second. So I got to look out for me. I got to look out for me, whether that looks like taking my ass up, going to the bathroom, just chilling for like five minutes. Or if that just looks like telling the kids, talk to me in five minutes. I need to literally just like exemplifying what they should do in the future if they have like emotional outbursts and they and they've started doing it like literally just taking a second going like tabling for a second and coming back whenever they're ready that's why I don't do ever with like babysitting I never do timeouts I do like okay I want you to sit here chill a second come back whenever you're ready but then I let them have toys books and all that because timeout is literally prime example of placation over resolution it's placating the issue but it's not actually going in and solving what it is that they, like, felt to have to do that. Like, I realized for the longest time, okay, so I know that, like, this um, one girl that I babysit, I'm, like, 90% sure that she probably has, like, ADHD. Um, and basically, it's just, like, so upsetting because, like, um, she'll just do a lot of things, like... Um, whenever she's bored she'll like act out for attention and do like all these things and it makes me remember like ADHD is literally your brain not having enough dopamine so you literally just go on dopamine hunts that's why like um a lot of kids with ADHD like um yeah like act out in school because if they're so mind-numbingly bored and they can't focus and they're being penalized in class for not focusing for doing all these things their dopamine's even fucking lower so it's like bottoming out so they're doing things that like inspire anticipation and like adrenaline and all these like other fucking um like feelings of just like them actually getting mental stimulation and like they'll just like do some cut shit in class and then I'm like that's what she's doing right now with us so whenever w she's bored we just gotta <laughs> up the antes we gotta figure out something else to do because I'm like it is not your fault that your mind d is not allowing you to focus so I'm not going to punish you for that and especially with like breaking rules penalty does not work penalty does not work with kids at all at all at all at all so I've realized the only way to actually yeah with breaking rules is to legitimately remediate it in that moment so that they can understand that um two things how to fix it if it doesn't work whenever yeah like in the future if they were to do something and it doesn't work they know how to fix it and then also so that if the consequence like of fixing it the process of fixing it isn't something that they like they'll just realize well this isn't fun to clean up I'm not gonna do this again like the kids um one time like ran inside with their shoes on and chucked mud everywhere I was like okay 
okay, but we're gonna clean this all right now. So I let them take a second. We went and got a snack. We went and got some um, water, some milk, some juice, whatever the fuck it was, some crackers and all that, <clears throat> some fruits, like, hello. Um, and then we doubled back to it because I was like, we gotta, yeah. And part of the reason, it's not like giving them all those treats to like, just like, yeah, just for the hell of it, like making them soft. It's the fact that if I ever made a mess, if I'm hungry, I'm going to go eat first so that I'm in the right mindset to go fix it. So I feel like people are always like, oh, gentle parenting is like coddling your kids. It's like ruining your kids' ability to fucking like, no, it is not. It is teaching them how to be real functional members of society and learning them how to check in with themselves so that they prevent yeah, it's like literally primary prevention, pr absolute primary prevention. And a whole nother thing that's really interesting to me, just on the um, aspect of like child care and all that, or like child psychology, or like um, whatever the fuck, um, ever, always, ever. But the thing that's very interesting to me is seeing kids like, um, wait, what the hell was I talking about in the first place? Whenever kids... They love to say, they love to say, they love to say. They're like, I did it all by myself. And I have realized that this comes from like low-key individualism. Like because capitalism is most profitable whenever you are a self-functioning or like a, or like it's right now, it's most practiced in like you earning the most profit if you are like a well-oiled machine independently and you don't really need outside help like you can do everything yourself well quickly efficiently all that that's what kids <clears throat> a lot of the time are like yeah like so excited to be able to do because think about it if you are a kid and say you have like a working mother and she is um a lot of the time yeah if she has to go to work like 20 minutes after you you're going to be praised if you could do things or after she drops you off to school, you're going to be praised if you can get ready in the morning all by yourself. So kids always like to talk about some, I did it by myself, I did it by myself. So I do like to teach independence. Do not get me wrong. I feel like independence is a very important thing. But like in doses, like in the sense that you do not deserve or need to be ashamed whenever you can't do something yourself because it creates a denial that just prohibits actually outsourcing to figure out what it is that you need and to get the resources and the um, assistance that it is that you need instead of just like staying quiet and shameful so like you definitely should like learn how to be independent and learn how to do things for yourself but it's like it should not come at the cost of community development and the ability to ask other people and like be vulnerable with other people about things that you want to do better in that's another reason why self-accountability is such a foreign thing because people love to be like yeah no this is a um thing like a issue to fix within myself like I can fix this within myself because therapy is expensive fucking um taking time to talk about things time is literally a commodity it's a resource so it comes at the cost of yeah um hours that could be used laboring so like whenever instead of having a sit down with somebody for like two hours one day instead of having like five minute run-ins with someone with like snide comments and just rude back and forth like you don't get that opportunity so you end up just like being time efficient one day but then making yourself overarchingly like yeah like it's all injury no prevention like yeah it's like I don't know. It's well, I do know. I literally said what like show it you know. Ben did it. What the fuck? But it's like <clears throat> I've realized my biggest like self-development this year has been outsourcing, asking for help, literally being completely vulnerable about my capacities because I've realized, oh, circling back to what I was saying earlier, it's like, uh, I don't need to have all the uh well, fuck. Um, I don't need to have all the answers. I don't need to even be in a place to solve all the answers. But if I can communicate my capacities so that I take away, because I've realized the biggest thing that keeps me from doing well sustainably is if I am like in a place where my expectations kind of over, yeah, are above my capacities and then I just feel that pressure on top of the already faltering ability 
And then it's like, oh. But whenever, once again, I take the time, I tap out for a second. That's why I'm using and abusing these years as much as I can because I've realized like, I can have the flexibility flexibility to communicate my needs right now. I can still afford that privilege. So I'm going to work on repairing myself and stacking my bread while I'm young. And then I can ball out in my golden years. But I mean, golden years, like after I'm 25, that's why I'm like, I'm not going to let this world kill me and then let me out for retirement and be like, gifts. No, 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 no. <laughs> not one of them. Not one of them never been I'm sorry <clears throat> I have so many just like aspirations that I'm like I'm not willing to sacrifice this for anything anything no no man that's not me I it's just genuinely not me I couldn't do it if I wanted to so it's like whenever I know something is like so largely prohibiting my well-being and it could be differently it like genuinely drives me crazy which is why I'm like oh I'm gonna change the world no ifs ands or buts I'm gonna change the world I'm going to find a handful of um, bad bitches to do it with me and we're going to change the world. And by bad bitches, I mean um, literally any person ever that um, cares about community development and the world that they see around them. Like literally, hit me in a DM. I feel like community is revolutionary. Empathy is revolutionary. Exploration is revolutionary. If you agree with those core tenets, literally. Snatch I meet it. Actually don't. Well, because I didn't mean that in the first place, but like, you know, don't. Um <laughs> Oh face I meet it! If it's cool. Yo my dear puppet. What? Yo my dear puppy. Mm, mm, mm. That's that shot. What the fuck? <sighs> mm, mm. Oh, my God.